Section 1.7 Procedural and Object Oriented Programming. Let's look at the object oriented programming first. If you are driving a car, you would not be worried about how your internal combustion engine works in detail. All you need is that you turn the car on, you push the accelerator, and it goes forward. If it's in gear, you press the pedal for a stop, it'll stop. Well, a car is an object that has a function that you know of, and you perform that function. You give it an input, it'll perform that function according to the method that it has in it. This sending message to the object to perform the operation is very simply handled by object-oriented programming. You don't have to know the detailed parts of any object how it operates, but rather you know the method it has and the result it will give you. Another example would be the example of the microwave. You don't have to know the detail of how the microwave works. If you want to pop the popcorn, you put your popcorn in there and you press the button that says pop the popcorn. After a few minutes, it'll pop the popcorn and it's ready to be served. The object-oriented programming took the same phenomena and allowed the people to look at everything in the form of the objects, which basically you want to produce the result without going into the detail of understanding of how that result is being calculated or being performed. You just take an object and know what the result will give you as you request it for an operation. However, on the other side of the coin is procedural programming or action-oriented programming. This will more focus on the detail of the process. The procedures and the functions are written to process the data for you. It is like if you want to take the average of 20 numbers. In an action-oriented programming, you have to tell it how to obtain these 20 numbers, how to add them all together, and how to divide them by the number of the numbers that you are dealing with, which in this case 20, and then basically teaching it how to do average these 20 numbers. Versus in object-oriented programming, you do not have to do the detailed procedure of how to do the averaging for you to come up with the result. You knew the object will take care of every aspect of performing calculation for summation of the numbers, dividing it by the number of the inputs, and giving you the result as the average. Most of the old generation programming, they were action-oriented programming. C is a procedural or action-oriented programming. C++, however, is object-oriented programming. We get to see a little bit of this toward the end of the course also. This would take care of this whole chapter and the end of the 1.7 section. Thank you for observing this whole lesson.